So, the truth comes out, doesn't it? You guys all think you're so much smarter than me that you got it all figured out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> in last episode in particular, though, guys, I learned, uh, I learned quite a few things from the comments. A couple things I was really surprised about, actually, so thank you for that. I'm not mad at you. I was, I was just kidding. Uh, so one thing, for example... Hello, by the way. Uh, is apparently you can... What would be a good thing to use here? Not a creeper. Let's go for... Well, we only have, like, creepers and, and skeletons. Mm, Enderman. Okay, we'll, we'll do a skeleton. I took my armor off. That's why I'm scared to use a skeleton. <laughs> it's in the washing machine right now. So apparently the slaughterhouse works not only with... Uh, uh, passive mobs, but also hostile mobs, which really surprised me. So it's at 336 meat. Hopefully this kills him before he kills me. Oh, oh. You guys are, you were telling me the truth, right? He should be dead by now. There we go. <laughs> All right, so that went up to 436 meat. Yeah, so it does actually work on hostile mobs. That is pretty cool. Is my laundry done yet? Oh, it is. I used the super soapy water this time. It's a lot faster, I think. All right, cool. Another thing, though, that uh, I thought might work, but I wasn't sure, is if you use the draconium blocks. Here, let's let's grab some draconium we got last time. Um, we can't just uh, we can't just craft the blocks, can we? We got to cast it. I think it's the only way to get it. So I'm gonna throw this into our tinker smelter here. Oh, is this still jammed up? This thing it never seems to work for us, does it? Why would it jam up now? Uh-oh, stuck on the loot bags. Okay, I'll have to investigate that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's throw some of this in here, though. We'll pour our blocks out. Okay, so you remember last episode, I really wanted to make the auto spawner, but it requires charged draconium blocks. I thought, I assumed, <laughs> you had to get this an energy infuser to charge him up uh, from Draconic Evolution here. But it sounds like you guys said you can actually do it in a capacitor uh, from Ender.io. So let's try that out because we do have the, the maximum power one set up over here. Uh, so all we should have to do is throw them in here, right? Yes, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. So it charges at 1 million RF per tick. That's a lot of power. Holy smokes. We, this was full, though. That's good. Oh, did it finish? It finished. Oh, that's cool. So each of these takes... What is that? That's a big number. Six... 100 million? Yeah, I think it's 100 million each block. That's a lot of power. <laughs> but we'll be able to make our auto spawner here. That's awesome. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got a problem here, guys. Let's look into this uh, right away because it's a it's a big problem. The diamond chests have filled up entirely with loot bags, all the free spots. So there's clearly something pretty wrong here. Let's let's go down and figure out what that is. So they're supposed to be getting opened and put into storage. Possibly one of these has filled up. I don't think I have void upgrades on all of these. Let's see what's what's going on here. There's no loot bags in there. That's very weird. Okay, now I really don't know what's wrong. Why would this be empty? Like, if there... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, and this says zero, zero. For some reason, it's not putting the loot bags in there. Is it, like, just stuck on one of them? Let's take this out. No. Uh, something very odd has happened. It's almost like the cable has broken for some reason. Okay, so let's think about this. It was able to pull the loot bags out of here and put them into the diamond chest, right? So just for some reason, they're not going into here, into the drawers. What would that reason be? I have no idea. Let's see if we can manually put them in. It'll allow us to do that, so if we right-click on the drawer, it won't go in for some reason. That is very weird. 
There's something odd about these loot bags, guys. <laughs> uh, what's inside? That has that. Uh, they look like normal loot bags to me. Okay. Yeah, it seems to work now. We just had to redo these for some reason. Problemo asaldo. Now we got to take all the loot bags out of the diamond chest, put them back into storage. A little bit of a pain, but shouldn't take too long. All right, so we can move on now. We got that taken care of. So we want to make ourselves an auto spawner for sure. We got the charged draconian blocks. We have machine chassis. Dark steel balls, really easy for us to do because we have a dark steel farm. So all we got to do is that and that. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's easy as if you can aim with your mouse properly. My mouse, I don't know what's wrong with it. Something odd is happening. I think I need a new one. Uh, okay, what else? There was light blue plastic. That would be tr a problem for us, except we, we've been getting it from those reward bags, actually. So got lucky on that. We have nine of them. And what else? We need ourselves... Oh, yeah, the big one. Let's look at this together. So there's this sentient ender head thing we need. That requires a witch in a soul vial. We did this before when we made this... Uh, uh, inventory panel thing. We do have a zombie villager that's about to convert to a, a villager trapped. And we also have a villager in a soul vial already. So I'm going to sacrifice one of those potential villagers. Turn it into a witch because witches are hard to catch. Um, and we only need one, right? So you... Did not turn into a witch. <laughs> what? Oh, and he's hitting me. Okay, we, we caught him again. Wait a minute. I thought when uh, villagers get hit by lightning, they turn into witches. No? You know why it didn't work? It's because that was introduced in Minecraft 1.8, and we are on Minecraft 1.7.10. <laughs> so, not quite there yet in the game. So, we're going to have to actually spawn in a witch and catch it somehow. Okay, so just like we did before, I'm going to set up a little dark room here for them to spawn in. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a witch fairly soon so we can make the spawner. Let's light this up over here. Now this time, though, we use dark glass so we can actually see inside. Because I was having trouble with that before. And... Tonight might not be a dark moon. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, something just spawned. Okay, what was that? Skeletons. It's still hard to see inside there, even with the glass, because it's so dark. Yeah, and they shouldn't be able to shoot me when I'm down here. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Okay, so let's work on some other stuff while we wait for a witch to spawn. So we're going to need an Enderman head and a Vibrant Alloy. Vibrant. I think we, I think we got this set up, right? Uh, let's put this in and put that in. Yes, okay, we got that made. Um... I was thinking about, like, where are we actually going to put our mob spawner? We should work out the layout of our place here a little bit more. <laughs> it's kind of a big mess, isn't it? Uh, I would like to be able to see the, the island over there from here, right? We don't want to block that. Like, we don't want to build a wall here, right? Uh, so we're going to keep it open and maybe go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven blocks spacing here. And then start building more over here. Keep this nice and open. Let's see. Let's block this up. Let's see how this looks now. So if we're if we're over here, we can still see the island. Yeah, it's a little bit blocked off, but you can you can see it, right? I think that'll be good. And then maybe we do what we did over here with the the treated wood stairs. Okay. Yeah. Let's just see what this looks like from a distance. We'll go down. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we do that. I'm not sure. Put that over here. That over there. Uh-huh. What do you think, Daxes? Do you like it? It looks great, Etho. Oh, okay. Well, if you like it, nobody's going to argue with your, your decision. <laughs> I guess we'll have to roll with it. Uh-huh. All right, so now if we do this... 
Then over here, maybe we put a mob spawner, like in this area where I'm standing. Yes, okay, let's let's plan to do that. And then we can put one on this side. So one will f for sure be for villagers, and then the other one will probably change out uh, with whatever we need at the time. Did we get a witch yet? Let's double check this. Uh, what's What are you? You're blue shirt guy. You're not what we're looking for. Okay, let's kill these guys. Let's make two more of these sifters. Just to fill in this look over here. <laughs> There's supposed to be six of them in total. Let's put two more down there. Okay. That area is kind of done. Did a little bit more with this. And... Let's see. What we should really make is those those lamps. Uh, let's look at immersive engineering. Immersive... Yeah, we want these orange lanterns. They look really cool. Let's see if we can make those lantern. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. And then we will... Oh, hover mode. Make that come out, maybe, and do that. And no. <laughs> not so far, at least. Uh, let's take this away. Again, not really a building series, but we will do a little bit. Just to, to get things looking nicer. Yeah, that's better, right? Ah, we're all out of conduits. Look at that. Okay. Get our vibrant thrusters. I decided, like, I was just... <laughs> I was so focused on trying to get a witch here. It's like that, that old saying, you know, if you... Wa if you Wait, how does it go? If you watch water boil, it's never going to happen or something. Because you're always opening the pot and then letting all the heat out. I keep watching this. I keep trying to get uh, a witch to spawn, and it's just not happening. It's been over 30 minutes or so. So we're going to do some other stuff to take our mind off of it. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade our jetpack now. We want that and that. Yeah. So, two thrusters. I think you can use this even if your jetpack's not full, right? Vibrance. And octatic. I'll never say that right. Oh. Oh, did I get that wrong, or is it just not working? Jetpack. Double check. Uh, oh, it goes on the top. <laughs> Aha, there we go. Yeah, the, the jetpack I was using there, you can only hover for about a minute or two, and then it runs out of juice. So we definitely want something a little bit better here. Good. 2 million RF. How's the hover mode on this one? Yeah, and as you upgrade the jetpacks, your hover mode works better. I think we're very slowly sinking down. It's a lot more stable than the other one. I gotta stop watching this. <laughs> um, what else can we do here? The next step to this, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anytime soon, right? Dark Solarium. Oh yeah, it takes some crazy stuff. We need to catch a bat at some point. So we'll have to keep that in mind too. Let's check underneath the islands. Just out of curiosity. I had one of those moments like, oh, do I have my jetpack on? <laughs> As I jumped off the ledge there. Uh, yeah, I don't see any underneath. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what else can we do here? Th we do have s the flowers grown here. Still no witch. Um, let's see. Let's check under beta. I th think it was the green we needed. We need this one and whatever this is, I think. Should have done three quests. Yeah. Claim that one. Claim that one. Claim that one. That leaves us with five of these left we need to do. Let's check on our uh, chicken seeds here. Oh, I just crushed them. <laughs> uh, yeah, fully matured. We're at 10, 10, 10 chicken seeds. We're going to throw in uh, these new petals we just got. Oh, this has been done for a long time. Yeah, when there's a lot of them in there, that means it's been done for a long time. Okay, we'll break these. Got our chicken seeds. Let's throw in one of these petals for it to 10, 10, 10. And what else did we have here? Uh, let's go ahead and do maybe Enderman seeds. No, cow seeds. I want cow seeds done. Throw those in here. Cool. Okay, I tell you what, guys. You know what we're going to work on is a Cursed Earth mob farm. It's something we've been wanting to make, and I keep putting it off. So, I'm going to steal one of these diamond spikes... Oh, it must have went into the system. Okay. 
put that there for right now. <laughs> um, we might just build it right up over here. Because I kind of want it nearby, but I don't want it like so close that it's it's annoying, you know? Don't want to hear the mobs dying constantly. So maybe we plan to drop the mobs like right here on a diamond spike. So we would set up a glass tube around that. Um, we're going to need to make a whole bunch of dark dark glass for this as well. Okay, so they need to drop them at least two blocks. Three blocks is better though, isn't it? And then, let's see, we will plan to push them towards the middle. Okay, so we got two fans blowing the mobs towards the middle. This might be a big mistake. Like I know from past experience building mob systems, you don't want them to come together from two sides, like into the middle here. It'll look better aesthetically if it works, but they might just get in each other's way and not fall down onto the spike here. We will see. <laughs> here, let's shut these off for right now, though, because they're really pushing me around. Okay, so... Then what do we do, guys? Let's go ahead and maybe raise this up one block. Like so. And then at this level is where we're going to have the cursed earth. So I should actually build this with cursed earth, right? Yeah, so there'll be dirt here. Although the Andermen will pick up the dirt if they can get to it. Yeah, we got to keep this flat, right? Maybe. <laughs> Let's put the dirt at this level here. Same level as the fans. And let's light this up while we work on it. Okay, well, let's let's just go ahead and try it out like this to begin with. See if it works or not. It's easy to rip down if it doesn't. Uh, we'll have fans all along the back here to push them towards the middle. Could probably even angle some of these, right? Might not be a bad idea. Uh, this one's angled more than another one. That's going to bug me. <laughs> okay. Uh, still angled more. It's hard to get them just right, isn't it? There we go, I think that's about right. Still no witches in the, the mob system. I looked it up, like I thought maybe you could make it use a witch using witch water, but it sounds like you need a cleric villager to do it. Uh, there is a way though. So, that's not an option for us either. We just have to kind of wait it out, and if we're lucky, we'll get one in our, our cursed earth farm here pretty quickly, and maybe we'll be able to catch it then. Um, what are we doing? Let's build this up three blocks or so. We'll put a roof over top of this. You have to make it a solid roof. If any light touches the cursed earth, it catches on fire. So... Ah, let's, do, let's go up another block. And I'm going to put slabs in here too, so we don't get spiders. Okay. It's, it's pretty small, but we'll give it a try here. <laughs> One thing I'm concerned about is these three blocks here might get stolen by Endermen. So we might need to not use dirt there, but we'll try it with dirt to begin with. Uh, and then what we're going to do here is knock out the torches. Should be dark in here once we put the, the cover on top. And let's get in one piece of cursed earth and run. Okay. <laughs> Seal that up. Uh, let's light it up on the top here. All right, we got to turn on our fans. Yeah, that's dark in there. That's really dark. Good. Run levers all along here. Flip on these fans. Might take a little bit of time for that cursed earth to spread. It should though, right? Okay, turn on those fans. And we will see what happens with this. Okay. Oh, getting pushed around. Let's double check this one more time. Uh oh, we got a we got a zombie villager. He might be worth taking out of there, actually. Just in case we need more of them. So I'm going to snag that guy. Where'd he go? I lost him. There he is. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab... Oh, I stole taxes. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, taxes. Okay, it seems to be spreading pretty slowly, so we're going to... Copy it. Break that. Get rid of it. And then sh change these out. Oh wow, those fans are really strong. I put, like, I usually only put one every second block. This time I put a lot of them because I think it pushes them faster that way. And let's switch this out. Okay, so now things should start spawning a lot faster. Yeah, we got a creeper in there. He is stuck right at the hole. No, he fell down. He fell in. Good. 
Yeah, they're going down. Uh, they seem to be pretty slow on that last block there, though. The fans really don't push too far. Get nothing but creepers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's going in there. Oh, there's a zombie. Skeleton, good. So we might set up our slaughterhouse here to start getting the, the meat and the pink gems that we wanted. Since it works with hostile mobs. Yes, yeah, it's working out pretty good. Not all the blocks have been changed yet either. I see a few that are still dirt. This is what I'm worried about. When there's two of them, are they going to keep each other from falling? Seems like it's still working okay. Yeah, not getting a ton of mobs, but it's okay. Oh, 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 no. It's a witch. It's a witch. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to the witch? I saw a witch. It's still up there. Okay. Grab it. Yes, we got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was lucky. I just noticed it uh, spawn before it fell down. We did get it, right? Uh, uh oh. I don't see it. Wait, did it land on the ground, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's right over here. Okay. Okay, we got... Whoa, hey! Whoa, okay! How did they get out? Or What? It looked like they spawned over here? There's a hole over there now. Okay. I was not expecting a hole to occur over here. How did that happen? Because an Enderman shouldn't have been able to reach that far. Okay, well, until we know exactly what's going on here, I'm going to put some slabs underneath the dirt here, so hopefully it's not uh, life-threatening to us, at least. Okay, place that there. Oh, we don't have enough. That's fine. That's the main trouble area anyway. Okay, so that's covered up. I did make the sentient ender using the witch we got, so that's all good. Uh, turns out to make the other thing, though, here. Let's look at this one more time. The plate thing here, the bus randomizer, is a little bit of a pain. This required the bundled cables, which we could do because we, we had a wool from S spider string. But uh, this middle one here also requires an energized silicon, which we get by smelting glowing silicon, <laughs> which we get by combining it with that, which we need one of these. And we're going to smelt the sandy uh, coal compound, which is a coal block and eight pieces of sand. So not terribly difficult. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, these two are sticks. These three are stone rods, right? Is that what's going on? I bet you that's what it is. Okay, let's grab some stone. We have over one million cobblestone, guys. It's a proud moment for me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made that much before. Okay, diamond saw, and then we take that with our silicon. Oh, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, do we get more than eight? No, it's only eight from that. Ooh, okay, then we take that. Combine it, right? Yeah, and then we got to re-smelt it. So a lot of steps, but we did it. <laughs> and then these uh, circuit plate things are just stone smelted. So we made a bunch of them. Okay. That's, and I think that's all the pieces we needed. Oh, I never did the bundled cable stuff, did I? Okay, was that just with the plates? Yes. So we need six of those. Okay, and now let's just auto complete it if we can. Auto complete, yes. Okay, we got the bus randomizer. That was that was a tricky one actually. Not difficult, but just a lot of steps. Okay, now we got everything. Look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> very happy to finally get this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and set it up. Try it out. Yes, yeah, so now we can take our zombie villager spawner thing and try it. Uh, safari nets. This over here, this is the one that was about to convert into a villager. We treated it already. 
So if we do exact copy, no, I think it's just going to spawn in zombie villagers, right? It might need a dark spot to do it too. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's let's take this back. Oh, here comes an Enderman. Is he going to steal something? I don't think he stole anything that time. No, it all looks like it's still there. Okay. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to actually put the auto spawner over here, probably, instead of over there like I planned originally. Um, so what we'll do, we'll have oak wood and then dark glass so we can see inside what's going on. We're just going to give it a 7x7 seven seven area. Ideally, you want it to give it an 8x8, eight eight, but 7x7 seven seven is good enough, I think. And it works much like a regular vanilla spawner. So you want it at this level here. So it'll spawn at three different heights. This one, this one, and... Oh, oh if I hold shift and spacebar. It's kind of weird. <laughs> and there, these are the three heights. But that's where their feet spawn. So if it's a too tall mob, that means their head's going to be uh, at this height here. So we want at least that amount of space free. If it's an enderman, they need three blocks. So there which means we want our roof probably at this level, right? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. We did get a measuring tape from a reward bag, but I haven't been using it. <laughs> I probably should, right? Just thought about that. Uh, okay, so it's nighttime right now. We could test this during the night. It's dark enough. Actually, let's leave that there right now. We still got to run power to this too. So we're going to run some cables probably just underneath here. And I just recharged my jetpack. I got to keep an eye on that. Yeah, and then we'll just run this all the way down to where we had our, our power here. Uh-oh. Does it need light? No. Still has power. It's like it just gave up. Oh, now it's working again. Okay, let's do exact copy this time. That means it takes more power to do an exact copy, but that's what we want. No, it's not working. Maybe it doesn't like the zombie. I'm worried now. Oh, no, it takes essence. Doesn't it? I forgot about that. It takes, uh, it takes essence to spawn a mob. Ooh, okay, good thing we built this farm. <laughs> Cause we can just we can use a grinder and, and pump it right to here. It's right next to it. Yes, okay, we did make a grinder before, right? I still got it on me, I didn't even notice that. Okay. I've had that on me this whole episode, haven't I? <laughs> okay, so grinder we will set up uh, over here. I can't even move here because the fans are so powerful. Yeah, if we set up a grinder facing, whoa, this way, whoa, this is where I want to be. Ah, oh, it's, it's not going the right way. Okay, turn that. It should be able to give us some mob essence that way. So we're going to have to run uh, power to this, but we also need to run a pipe to take the mob essence we get uh, to the mob spawner here. So let's go underneath again. We're at 45%. Uh, where were we? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, right over here. Okay. So, we connect pipe here. Pipe over here. Power over here. Quickly, we're at 35%. <laughs> and, yeah, we'll just connect right to where this is. Good. That'll give it power. So, it should start grinding the mobs, killing them. Then we run our fluid all the way to the mob spawner here. We might want to set up a barrel or something too so we can hold a bunch in reserve. And up to here. Good. So now... Uh, whoa! Hey there, buddy. Did it work? Oh, it must have. It, it's green. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, I don't really want them spawning while I'm working here, but I think that worked out. So, uh, let's grab our wrench. So, apparently, if you shift, left, click... Oh, yeah, it worked. It's not spawning the villagers, though. It's spawning regular zombies. 
Let's turn exact copy to yes. So now it should spawn the, the villagers that are about to convert. This we want on insert only. I think. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit of mob essence in there, not much. Does this need to fill up? I think it does, right? So we need more mob essence right now, probably. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so the diamond spike's going to kill some of them. Hopefully this kills enough of them, though. And I kind of want to set up a uh, slaughterhouse here, too. Might be too much stuff at one, one mob farm. Let's get rid of the diamond spike just for now. So that it for sure will grind them. Okay, just remove the diamond spike from here, so hopefully we get more mob essence. So we don't necessarily need that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's our first guy. Oh, he's on fire though. No, <laughs> get under the, get under the blocks, you fool. Okay, he's safe. So you see, he spawned with the the particles, and he converted to a villager. Look at that. That's exactly what we want. Now let's try grab this guy. We only have one of these uh, safari net things, unfortunately. Oh, you can't even pick them up with it. That's what it is. So you can't just spawn in the villagers with this. You have to use uh, a zombie villager. And then indirectly get them. Okay. So, let's get them back. Okay. And put them back in here. And Oh, you know, one problem we're going to have, though is they will kill the villagers that have converted, right? Oh, was there not enough mob essence? Oh, it's going, it's going. I think. Uh, yeah, this is going up. Green. So once this work gets all the way to the top, it spawns in a zombie villager. Looks like there's not going to be enough essence. Oh, we just got a bunch. Good. And how's my jetpack? <laughs> Let's get on the ground. Okay, here comes one. Yeah, so is he going to kill the villager? I guess not if I'm in here. Get get undercover, man. There we go. Yeah, this is going to work out. We just need to give it a roof. Well, anyways, guys, this is a good start to this. Still needs a lot of work, though. Uh, I did want to check out, what are you selling exactly? It looks like seeds. Oh, he sells the carrot seeds. That's like a, a special potion thing, I think. Huh, indeed. How many emeralds do I have? Let's check this out. Emeralds. We're up to 75. Okay, we'll grab that. Uh, I don't have any seeds in there, do I? Do we have any over here still? Uh, yeah, we'll use those. Hopefully we can use those. Okay, let's do a trade, if we can, and that, oh, that scared me, <laughs> yeah, so they will fight each other, looks like the villagers can actually fight back though, look at that, tough guys, yeah, they can actually fight in this pack, because they were beating me up when I, when I hit that guy earlier, ah. okay, trade, Let's do the trade. I want to see what else he'll give us. So we'll grab the seeds. And hopefully that unlocks a new one. Yes. Okay. Now what do you have? Oh, just like little little garbage seeds like that. You can get that from uh, breaking grass, I think. So that's not really worth it. Um, yeah, this seems like it's going to work out good, though. So what we want to do is start catching these guys in the vials. But uh, I think we're about at the time where we got to wrap up, so I'm going to say goodbye for today. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, <laughs> take care. Bye-bye.